Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. Thanks for the click, I hope you're doing well. So as you can see, we are still dealing with some lessons related to the teaching profession. And these lessons or this episode are very important for all um, those who want to apply for the teaching profession, either in the public sector or even in the public sector. So in this episode, we are going to see teaching listening, okay, teaching listening. This is something that we have not covered so far. So we've covered something like teaching reading, teaching grammar, teaching vocabulary, teaching writing, um, teaching grammar. Today, in this episode, we are going to see teaching listening, okay, teaching listening. Now, when we talk about listening or as a skill, it is something that we consider as receptive, okay? It is a receptive skill, okay? Why do we call it receptive? Very simply, because students or the learner receives. Receives what? Receives the input, okay? Receives the input. And when I say the input, which means the language. It receives the language, okay? So it is a receptive skill, not like writing, which is a productive skill, not like speaking, both of them are productive. Listening and reading are receptive. You receive, okay? You receive the language. Another thing about listening, it is considered as a forgotten, forgotten skill. Why is it considered as a forgotten skill? Because most of teachers forget about it. They don't teach it. Perhaps they think it is um, not important or perhaps they think that students listen to their speaking, to their inputs, it's enough. Actually, it's not enough. Listening should be taught, should be integrated in other lessons, okay? So, when we talk about listening as a skill, it can be taught in two different ways. Number one, first way, it can be taught as an integrated as an integrated skill okay as an integrated skill and when you say as an integrated skill which means that you can integrate it in with some other lessons or other lessons like for example vocabulary okay vocabulary or for example grammar okay or even reading okay or reading so you can integrate or speaking as well okay or speaking okay so you can integrate the listening within these lessons with vocabulary with grammar with reading and with speaking with reading if your purpose or one of your objectives is to develop the student pronunciation the learners pronunciation otherwise you don't need to to use it okay so in vocabulary it's good to integrate in grammar as well and in speaking it is also very essential now this is number one to integrate it in other lesson number two is to teach it as a separate independent as an independent lesson okay an independent lesson which means the whole lesson is going to be listening now here we are going to include or talk about some tasks okay some tasks or we can say activities tasks or activities okay that we can use to teach listening and that can be included either when you are teaching listening independently or when you are this teaching listening as an integrated skill okay now the first thing or the first thing that you do while teaching listening is to let the learners listen this is number one okay to let them listen okay they listen to the audio or video they just listen to discover so they train themselves so here you just play the recorder and let the learners listen without doing anything so this is first step they just lesson without doing anything another activity or another thing that you can ask learners to do while listening so you can play the recorder again they listen again and do something now what they are going to do for example they can listen and take so they can take 
what the, learned, the, the speakers are talking about, the topic, for example, either one or two or three, they can also check what this maybe audio is. Is it a news reporter? Is it a phone call? Is it a friend discussion? Is it uh, making requests, apology? So what is it? So they can take. This is the first task they do is to listen and take. Another thing they can do is to listen again, to listen again, and for sure, they can also listen and select. Okay, they can listen and select. Now, what do I mean by select? This is, by the way, good for vocabulary. So you can give them a list of words, okay, a list of words that some of them you taught before in vocabulary. So here we are talking about vocabulary and some that you did not. And you ask the learners to listen to the recorder and they select, for example, to circle what they heard what they heard in the audio or in the video, okay? So this is what we mean by listen and select. They can also listen and complete, complete sentences, okay? They can also listen and complete sentences and they can listen and complete the sentences with words. And this is also very important for vocabulary, okay? So they listen and complete sentences, okay? They can also listen, listen and whether it is true, the sentences are true or false. This is another task or another activity they can do to listen and say whether the sentences given to them are true or false. The next one, you can, they can listen and answer the questions. So you give them questions students or learners listen and answer the questions based on what they listened to. The next other ones, they can listen and choose, okay? They choose, for example, parts to complete the sentences, okay? So you give them a sentence, incomplete sentence, and they choose A, B, or C to complete the sentence, for instance, okay? Or they choose some words to complete the sentences. This is for vocabulary, okay? Um, another thing they can do, this is number seven, is to listen and discuss. Listen and discuss. So they might listen, for example, to a news report, to a news report about, for instance, a certain event, and they discuss. For example, learners discuss what should be done to for that, etc. For example, if they, they, they listen to something to do with uh, deforestation or a forest fire so learners can get in groups and try to discuss what should be done to uh, prevent or stop these environmental and ecological problems okay so these are some activities that you can use with learners while teaching listening so these are as I said activities that not necessary to include all of them in your lesson but you can choose the appropriate one. It depends on whether you are teaching the lesson independently or you are teaching it as an integrated skill with other lessons like I have said here. Okay? Now, these activities take into consideration that they are based a lot on the level, okay? On the level of the learners, okay? So you are not going to use all of them because of the level of the learners. So for example, listen and discuss, this is something that you cannot do with beginners because beginners are incapable to do that, okay? So these ones, these activities, depend on the level of the learners and this is number one, and depend also on whether you are teaching this lesson as an independent lesson or as an integrated skill. All right, so I hope you find this easy to understand. If you have any question or suggestion, don't hesitate to let me know. See you in another episode with another lesson. Have a good time and goodbye.